Hello everybody, this is Neanderthal Gaming, and welcome back to Vanilla Minecraft. And in today's episode, I'll be going over, at least for the beginning part, some additions, some additions I have made. Uh, you've probably seen a few of them already, but uh, we haven't moved any with the, the chickens yet. I think I'll probably be doing that off camera, maybe for later this episode, maybe for next episode, I'm not really sure yet. Um, but I have created a little pond up here, so I have had to raise it up a little bit, just just a little bit, just one little step here. Oh, I actually need to replace those. I'm just gonna take them out for now, so I remember to do it later. I don't have any wood on me, so I made a little pond here, made a little deep, put our sugar cane here, took out the sugar cane farm there. But then I also made a little natural waterfall instead of just one block hanging up there. I also made the one down there look a little bit better, and I also uh, once I get actually. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll go down there uh, eventually this episode, but uh, we made our, our actual waterfall look a little more natural. Also, also we connected the path to there, so that's looking nice. A farm. This is our farm. Um, I did kind of just a spreading of everything. We have a... Ooh, let's, let's create a spot for that pumpkin or watermelon. Um, yeah, I really like how this is looking. We got stairs in here so we don't trample the crops on the on the uh, terrace system here. We got lights in the middle, we got lights in the edge, and we got lots of little doors on the side here. Uh, it took me quite a few tries to uh, get a design that I like for this farm, but I, I'm happy with this one. Just kind of a little quaint little farm. I'm, obviously, I'm not going to be using this a whole bunch because uh, we're going to be getting cows pretty soon. Um, Whenever I whatever I do with the chickens, I'm going to create a little pen for the chickens. I'm also going to probably bring up some cows and probably also bring up some sheep up here. Uh, or maybe I'll just have them down there. Not really. I haven't really decided yet. Um, do everything doesn't have to be up here. Uh, we still have our sign here, but I made another little pond up here. I could actually extend this maybe a little bit more. Um, looks a little unnatural still. Um, but yeah, another little pond up here that uh, flows into our waterfall here into our drop point. I uh, just wanted to make that a little look a little bit more natural and like you know how that looks um what else oh yeah the entire basement is done <laughs> I, I decided to make that just the straight up uh that's the whole brewing situation is the basement and so if we go down here we have a little staircase you can see there and our little sign that says potion uh and then we can come down here and here we are uh i haven't really decided how to fill the space yet um so let's just kind of go through what we have here we have Random cauldrons placed around just because they look cool, full of water. We have little um, chunks of uh, nether wart growing on the sides, kind of, you know, just little, little mold spots. But then we also have, like, you know, patches on the sides of the wall. Like, it looks like we planted them, but then it kind of looks like it's spread in the middle of it. I don't know. Um, th this area right here is looking a little blank, so I decided to put some nether wart in there. Um, other than that, uh, we have some more um, cauldrons and nether wart. We have a little table with some brewing stands on it. Uh, another little table and brewing stands on it, and a crafting bench. Looks like I forgot to place a block there. Hmm, I don't actually have any blocks I can go there right now. We have our, our uh, nether wart chest there. We have our um, potion brewing supplies chest here. Uh, we have some water bottles here, and then our chest for storing potions here. I've only made uh, one batch of potions here. made some strength potions, so we get one there. Uh, one is in the chest and one is in the sign up there. Then we have a randomly placed glowstone lighting on the ceiling. And then these things, these doors here, actually have water in them. Uh, and I actually put some, some mossy stone, mossy cobble below that. So it kind of looks like that's extra moldy, you know, just a little bit extra moldy. Uh, and actually, I found out that, oh, I guess if you walk fast enough, you can just kind of walk across this gap somehow. I'm not really sure how that works. But if you walk slowly, you can actually fall. So I'm not really sure how that works. Oh, it's raining. Um, but these are just like water barrels, you know? Uh, so if you have like some water buckets here, or uh, actually, no, it's more for the water bottles. For water bottles, you just climb up these stairs, you fill up your oops, you fill up your water bottle, and then you put it back in. So it kind of looks like a barrel, you know? These doors kind of look like barrel sides. Uh, so you just got another one up here. Oh, I need to fix that door, actually. I'll do that later. Um, yeah, these are little water barrels in the corners. Also, uh, above, in, uh, in between... Um, so like this floor is only too thick here, so like under this block and like maybe under one of these blocks and like under this wall and stuff like that, uh, I dug up two. I got I dug up two slots and put a bucket of water, and then replaced you know replaced this layer with it. So like, see how this is dripping? If I were to, uh, let's see, if I were to mine this out, yeah, there's a there's a water source right up there. Uh, oh, I just wrecked all of my nether wart, didn't I? Whoops. Um, yeah, it's just kind of a cool little. Um, Man, I wrecked all of it. Cool little thing. Uh, just kind of this dank, gross, uh, moldy, uh, brewing basement I have here. Um, with the, uh, oh, with even the uh, the mossy stone brick on the sides there. So I'm liking how that looks. If you just kind of stand in one place for a while, 
it drips quite often in a lot of spots. So yeah, I like how this looks. At least for now, we'll, we'll update it some more. Probably have to put some more storage. Uh, what else did I have ready for this episode? I have a little note. Uh, the guard in the basement. Oh, the portal. And then, right, sugarcane and the waterfall. So we have two more things, actually. We have the portal and the cave. So let's go check out the portal. Actually, let's sleep. <laughs> Hopefully that will make the rain go away. There we go. Have a nice day. All right. So here is the portal. I've kind of netherified the area. I really like how these uh, lava lava stone. I never remember. Magma block, lava stone, and like whatever. So like kind of right here is the line that the uh, the Nether has created here. Um, like how this looks. Not really sure how it looks from the outside. Kind of looks gross from the outside, but let's be honest. When am I ever going to be right here? I uh, had to chop a couple of trees down because these uh, these fire. Oop, we're catching. I was catching some trees on fire, so there was a minor, minor little fire I had to deal with, but uh, not too big of a deal. It didn't spread too far, um, so yeah, uh, I could kind of fill this in back here too, but um, oh, a, little, a little lazy to do that. But anyway, uh, I'm, I'm really liking how this looks too, so I think we're going to leave that how it is. Um, where are these two blocks gone? <laughs> um, a couple of people commented on my last Minecraft video, and that is uh, a couple more than I usually get. Uh, one of you uh, commented on um, how I, I said that maybe uh, I had too many of these fence gates, not fence gates, trap doors on my house and that I should maybe replace the ones on the, uh, what do you say, first one of them, uh, replace some of them, I can go look back and look, replace some of them with stone buttons and I totally agree with that, I have too many trap doors, it kind of just looks like, it's just too too much trapdoor, you know. Uh, and then another one of you uh, asked why I wasn't recording in shaders. And, you know, I have tried out shaders before, uh, but I haven't really tried super hard. Um, I never really have gotten them to work really well. Uh, he said he knew one that wouldn't limit my FPS. Um, and so I, I asked him uh, what it was. He just hasn't replied to me yet. I just, I just replied to him, like, today, so... I don't blame him for not getting back yet, but, uh, yeah, uh, I, I would love to try it in shaders. Um, I'm a big fan of shaders. I know a lot of YouTubers don't record in shaders because it kind of makes everything look weird, and I mean, it makes them look good, but, um, I don't know. We'll, we'll try it out next episode, hopefully. Um, so, there's a hole there. Let's jump down our waterfall here and check out what we did down here. With the waterfall here, um... Basically, I just kind of carved out the path. Instead of just, like, resting on top of the the, the dirt that was falling over, I kind of nestled it in. So you see how I kind of brought these few blocks out. And then on the other side, I also brought blat, uh, a couple of the the grass blocks out. So it just looked like it was more of a natural waterfall or as if the waterfall had been there for longer, kind of cutting out the land there. I think that looks much, much better. It kind of just looked like someone spilled water over the side of a... Oh, why aren't these dirt yet? These have been covered for months. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so just kind of carved it up there. Also, if we go over here, I finally did this. Um, been meaning to do this for a long time. So, uh, just kind of extended the natural looking entrance we had here. Had some have some lava behind some glass there. Have a nice little floor here. Just you know, you know kind of trying to keep it natural here. I don't know. Maybe I'll put some chests up here or something like that. Maybe like uh, maybe another. Oh no, I don't need another elevator or staircase up at the top. We have one like right up there. But anyway. Let's check down here. Um, right now, I just have some stone brick uh, with torches on the side. Otherwise, all of the rest is natural, like that coal was already there. All of this uh, granite and andesite was already there. So just kind of left that there. Not really liking how that looks, but I mean, it is it more natural. Also, this straight... I've got to do something else other than this straight staircase. I don't like it. But anyway, this is kind of a, a cool little feature here. Once we come to this little turn here... Uh, you can, I kind of made a little glass floor, you can look down at the, uh, where the, the stairs keep going, so I really like how this looks, because it's just like, it looks like there's a whole network of stairs, but really you just come down here, come down here, come down here, and this is where we are. Uh, so you could jump down that way and go that way, but really I've explored that side of the ravine and there's not much, there's no caves, uh, connecting, well at least there are some, but, um, 
I think there's one, but I explored to the extent of it. This way, however, is mostly unexplored. Uh, I've torched it up, but I haven't done any of the resource mining. I also created this little bridge across. Um, but yeah, uh, if I wanted to just jump over there, I could. Uh, that's very dangerous. It's actually a bridge across lava. I didn't even notice that. Love on both sides. Oh, there's your redstone. But anyway, uh, I like how this bridge looks. And then basically down here, I didn't do anything past it. It's just kind of lit it up. Um, we are at... 19 so we would have to go a little bit lower to do a strip mine but this is a good start to a way down to a mine system i'm liking how this looks uh i also haven't connected this up with the the drop we had before uh, i'll show you what i mean when i talk about that um there's a spot over on this other side of my hill here that um, I dug up from a caving expedition. I, I, I think I was in a mine shaft and I couldn't find my way out, so I just decided to dig up. It ended up being, uh, n n basically, I was going to say nearly, but um, yeah, I guess nearly under my base, like almost directly under my base. Like this is where I came up, and so I have a little drop down there that brings me down to a mine shaft, which is really nice because this is literally, you know, 15 blocks away from my staircase up to home. So that was ridiculously lucky and uh, pretty awesome so I think that's it yeah uh, that will be it for this part of the episode not I think, yeah this this hasn't been long enough to constitute a full episode so I'm going to uh, in between now and the next part I am going to oh man, I'm, I'm gonna look around for some cows while I try to try to bring these sheep up um, Sorry, I keep, uh, I keep getting sidetracked there. Um, I'm going to look for some cows. I'm trying to bring the sheep up because the, the, the cows that I've been farming are way the heck over there. Um, I'm not, I mean, I don't have that many saved up over there. Um, also, I'm going to move the chickens and we're going to have little pens for setup. Uh, I don't need pigs necessarily because, uh, I mean, pigs don't give you anything uh, that cows don't and cows give you leather. So, yeah. But that is going to be it for this part, so I will be right back. Alright, so I'm back. It's been a few days since I've recorded. Uh, I have replaced the trap doors with the stone buttons. Very good idea. Very like... Uh, I've, I very much like it. Uh, very much improved. I totally agree there were too many... Oh, this can be freed up also. How am I going to get out of here without breaking a crop? Dang it. How many ender pearls? Oh, man. Um, so I replaced these layers, this layer up here, so the stone button right there, and also the stone buttons on this layer here. And then I also took off the trap doors from these windowsill type things. Alright, we're going to have to hop to that. One on, easy, and then up. Yeah, there we go. Okay, uh, the next big thing. Um, I can go down into this chicken farm and slaughter all the chickens because we have another farm. So it's kind of basic. Uh, I tried making it look a little nice. I kind of added this little... Uh, barn shed kind of thing I guess you could call it man chicken slaughtering is a lot faster with a sword that does AoE damage I'll probably be critting these guys actually come here and you're done okay um I don't have any blocks to fill this in actually I could fill it in with cobble probably so let's do that. We don't need this uh, room anymore. Actually, I'm not going to be able to fill it up. Not even close, probably. Whoops. I just created a monster spawner. Which is another thing I wanted to talk about. Um, monster spawners. Like, not just ones that are already, like, like an actual physical spawner, but, like, I have to make one, you know, the old-fashioned way. Just uh, build a big tower and uh, have a big dark room up there and have water... Water trails going down, oh, a sneak peek, um, into a, like a big hole, then they die, or they almost die, and you can hit them for drops and stuff like that, because we want, we want gunpowder, that is what we want, we want this stuff right here, we want gunpowder, because gunpowder lets us make fireworks, and fireworks let us fly, if we have an elytra, that is new in 1.11.2, um, so instead of that, uh, kind of glitch, kind of really more of an exploit, I would call it, of when you're flying with an elytra, you have a you have a 
punch five bow and you kind of shoot you shoot the arrow but you fly faster so you catch up with yourself you catch up with the arrow and then it hits you and then it f makes you fly so instead of doing that they just made fireworks have an actual physical use instead of just looking cool uh you make fireworks and you can spam them while you're flying with your launcher and you jet off and it's amazing also it leaves a trail of fireworks behind you which is even cooler so anyway here is the pasture i guess you could say so we have a little little bit of a path here i'm gonna eventually connect it up there i haven't decided how i'm gonna make the staircase if i'm gonna try to do it naturally or if i'm gonna make you know just like a stone staircase or like a wooden staircase but anyway we have our little wheat field here just kind of a supplementary wheat field so i don't have to if i come down here and i forget wheat i can i don't have to run all the way back up there and harvest wheat i just have another wheat field here man that is really good from below actually <laughs> That's natural. All that is natural. I may, I maybe have shaved off a couple of blocks down there, over there, but that is all natural right there. Really like how that looks. Anyway, um, we have our little chicken coop here, and then we have kind of some double doors, so we don't accidentally let anybody out. We have our sheep area. Uh, I made the sheep area the biggest because um, if we ever want to dye these guys and you know keep. Uh, one of each color we're going to need a bigger area than we would for cows and then the cows of course we can just kind of if they're closer together it's actually better because we want to we want to kill them with the sword with whereas the sheep um we want to shear them which we don't actually need to kill them so if they're closer together the the aoe sword can hit them better so uh these guys that seem to be doing their job pretty well so i'm just gonna leave them there also i've, I've been breeding them up just a little bit so I'm, as you can tell i have quite a few um i i might expand this eventually and might separate them but for right now this is what we got and then over here we have our little little shed i get i wouldn't call it a barn because there's no real animals in there so we got little you know little window peeking out uh i used some quartz from the nether trying to make little you know little accents on the side there so the back not too thrilled about how the back looks, but I mean, who's ever going to look at that? So the, this side is the same as the other side, and then the front, I really like how this looks. So let's dig inside. Uh, no door, it's just kind of a shed, you know, no big deal. Then we have a, a chest for some shears. Um, I'll probably end up putting more in there. And then we have a chest for our wheat once we have more of it. So um, that will be cool. And then also kind of have the, the visual aspect of storing the wheat with the hay bales. And then we have upstairs, we have hayloft, which is just really nothing. It's just kind of a... Just an aesthetic thing, so I really like how this building turned out. Ugh, ladders, right? So, um, other than that, what else did I do? Uh, I guess one really kind of small thing. Uh, so I was just kind of wandering around my world here. There's a lot, I noticed a lot of these open kind of craters uh, with, you know, just little water pockets in them and stuff like that. So I, I either filled in or covered up some of them. I actually filled in a few of them. I realized I really didn't need to, and so I just covered up some of them. So I think actually like one is right here. Yeah, so we just got, do I have enough blocks? I do have enough blocks, okay. So if we come down here, it's just, you know, just a little water cave. Actually, I'm gonna light this up because if we're gonna do a mob spawner anywhere near here, we need to have every little bit of space lit up. Oh, perfect. Uh, so yeah, we might we might get to that next episode. Um, yeah, uh, but the thing that I did, uh, this doesn't actually look the best right now um, because I don't have enough dirt to even this out. But uh, this waterfall is kind of ugly, ugly spilling out into this little pasture here, and so I just kind of contain it in this little pond here by making a little retaining wall, I guess. Um, yeah, um, this doesn't look good. I need just just me like. Four grass blocks. Oh, I guess dirt blocks work too. Just want to smooth this out a little bit. That works. That's going to be it for this one. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, comment. Um, yeah, leave your ideas for me. Uh, I got lots of feedback on the last episode, and I was very happy about that. So thank you for participating in this. This is not a single-player experience. This is, well, it is single-player, but um, multiple people's opinions matter in this. So thank you all for your support, and I hope to have it continued. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.